everyone, I'm Kat and welcome to my channel, Naturally Beautiful Girl. So today I'm doing a video that I really think is going to be helpful and hopefully you guys do too. So before I switched to Green and Eco Beauty, I wore a lot of liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks were my favorite lipstick formula because they were long wearing and typically transfer proof. And so for someone that, you know, went to school all day, that was a really easy choice because I could just put that on, you know, go throughout my business and then not really worry about my lipstick. So I absolutely love that. I've always worn some sort of lipstick um, since I've been in high school because my lips naturally don't have a lot of pigment to them. They look really washed out. And if I don't wear a lipstick, what ends up happening is that my, I look really kind of pale, a little bit sickly. It's just not a good look for me. So I definitely love wearing a lipstick and having something super low maintenance has been really important. So when I switched to Green and Eco Beauty, it was natural for me to go looking for some sort of liquid lipstick alternative. And I have, I've tried quite a few different formulas. I want to do kind of a comparison and review of those different formulas for you guys. So if you are liquid lipstick lovers like me, but are looking for something with a healthier formula, Hopefully this video will help you out. I do have to say though, I do not have every single liquid lipstick under the sun in Green Eco Beauty. I've never tried any of the Romy liquid lipsticks. I don't know why, I just have never ventured into trying those. Um, I've heard good things about them, just, I don't know, for some reason they weren't sold at any of the places where I typically shop for Green and Eco Beauty products. And so I never really went out of my way to purchase them. But I saw just yesterday that Credo Beauty is carrying, I think it's called Spella or Spila. It's a brand that's selling only liquid lipsticks and I've not tried any of theirs, but I'm hoping to pick one of those up before too long. And I also have heard rumblings that Root may be coming out with a liquid lipstick. Um, it's not out yet. If it does come out, I will probably also pick that up. So hang tight and hopefully you will find this video helpful and so let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna break this video into two sections and do liquid liquid lipsticks and matte liquid lipsticks. So what I mean by that is that some liquid lipsticks actually dry down and become matte like the liquid lipstick I have on right now. Some do not. Some stay kind of more liquidy or moussey on the lips and eventually they will kind of dry down throughout the day but they aren't like insta matte. So I'm gonna break it apart and do the more liquidy liquid lipsticks first, and then I will go into the matte liquid lipsticks. The first, which I think is one that you guys have probably all seen, is the 100% Pure Lip Caramel. They describe it on their website as being a liquid, liquid lipstick. And I've talked about this one before. I did a kind of comparison video comparing all the different 100% Pure uh, lip formulas. I will link that down below. If you're interested, you can check that video out. And I have the shade here in Cherry Cordial. So this is Cherry Cordial swatched on my hand here. It's a very kind of pinky, berry red, but kind of bright at the same time. It's a very interesting color. And I don't know if you can tell this from the swatch, but it is a super, super liquidy formula. It goes on your lips really liquidy. I find that with this formula that I do need to wear a lip liner, particularly with this bold and dark of a color, it will bleed and kind of feather on me if I don't have a lip liner on first. And when I did my 100% pure lip comparison video, I originally did not like this formula, but when I was getting ready to do this video, I was going through and trying all my liquid lipsticks and I did it kind of over about a week and a half period. I just went through and was like, trying one after another after another and taking a lot of notes. And also by trying them all in a row, I was kind of comparing and I had like what I liked, what I didn't like in my mind. And I could be like, okay, I like this about this. I like this about this. And I actually liked this better than I had remembered liking it when I tried it again. And I think it's also because I kind of acclimated more to the idea that it's not supposed to be drying down. It's not supposed to be matte. And I actually found this to be really comfortable. Um, it does transfer on you because it does stay more liquidy, but I find that it was longer wearing than just a regular cream lipstick. It was very comfortable. Like it wasn't drying on my lips. It wasn't patchy. It um, didn't flake off or crumble off on me. Like I actually like this. I don't particularly like this color because if I want to go with something like this bold of a color, I want a little bit more of a low maintenance formula. To be honest, even the Cloven Hallow lip creams, which are a bullet lipstick, I have 
some kind of very fuchsia -y shades and those are more low maintenance. They don't feather on me, they don't bleed. I could see this formula working well in more of a nude pink color. I know that Tashina from Logical Harmony really likes the lip caramel and I butter too, and that's more of a nudey color, so I think that could work well, but for something this bold, this is not my favorite formula, but I do have to give credit that this is colored using fruit pigments. Personally, not my favorite formula, but you know, I could see people liking this, particularly in more nude shades. The next liquidy lipstick formula is from Pacifica, and this is the Pacifica Plushes Liquid Mineral Lipstick, and I have the shade here in Breathless, which is very much a nudie shade. Here is the shade Breathless swatched on my hand here. I do like the shade of it. I do wear this quite a bit, but it, it is a more liquidy formula. And it does apply evenly. It's not patchy. It's pretty comfortable when you first have it on, particularly because it is a more liquidy formula. However, throughout the day, it does dry down on you. And at that point, it starts to feel a little bit drying on my lips. Like I don't love the feeling of it when it starts drying down. However, it does wear pretty well throughout the day, um, especially when it does start to dry down. It gives me a pretty long wear time. I'd say maybe like two hours or so for this to really start drying down. It will eventually flake off on me, but I find that most of these do eventually kind of do something like that where they will crumble and flake. But this is okay. Um, I also like that Pacifica has a lower price point and it's something pretty easy to track down. You can get it at Target, you could get it at Ulta. So I do really appreciate that about this lipstick. Overall, it's okay. I was wearing it quite a bit, but then I found another kind of liquidy lipstick formula that I actually prefer. The next liquidy lipstick formula is from Au Natural and it is their Sustain Lip Stain. And I had the shade on point. I got this in a Pettigore box and I like this one better than the Pacifica formula. To me, they're very close and they remind me of each other, but I prefer the Au Natural just a little bit better. It is definitely more of a moussey formula, whereas the Pacifica is more liquidy. So here is the Au Natural swatch. Um, I think you can tell just from looking at the way the shine is on the lip caramel and the Pacifica plushes liquid lipstick, that the Au Natural one is more moussey and not as like wet and liquidy. I think because it is more moussey, it kind of stays in place better even before it dries down and does the lip stain part. It's more transfer proof when it is still wet than the Pacifica one. So I really like that about it. The Au Natural one does once again take a while to dry down. It takes a couple hours. It is very comfortable while it is in its moussey stage. However, once it does start to dry down, it does dry out my lips. Like I can definitely feel my lips getting dry once it starts to become a stain and less of like the moussey texture. But I found that I can counteract that by reapplying this, but then it kind of is like, well, I'm wearing a lip liquid lipstick and I have to reapply it. So is that really that much better than a cream? I don't know, but I do like this and I keep reaching for it over and over and over again. Like I have worn Au Natural on point so many times. I'm probably going to be wearing this for Thanksgiving. Um, I just really keep reaching for it. So that in and of itself should be a testimony of how much I really do like this formula. When it does fade off, it does look kind of crusty and a little flaky. It doesn't look the best when this starts to fade, but neither actually does the Pacifica. And I think it's because of the shade of the, lip the lipstick. When they start to kind of fade and crust off and flake off, it looks really crusty, but I think it's because of these nude shade of lipsticks. It kind of looks like my lip is crusty because it's very close to what, um, well, if I actually had pigmented lips, I imagine this is close to what my natural lip color would look like. But out of the three um, more liquidy formulas, I 100% would reach for the Au Natural out of the three of them. And I do. That is the one that I wear most frequently out of these more liquidy formulas. So now we're gonna move on to the ones that become more matte and really dry down. And the first one I have here is from Found Cosmetics. This is a line that is carried at Walmart. It is a very, very new line. It is something um, that is more green eco. The ingredients are not perfect, but I really appreciate that there is a lower price point green and eco brand that you can go into a Walmart and get. Not every Walmart carries them, but you can also purchase 
found online. I did try out their found matte liquid lipstick and I have the shade 220 Honeysuckle. I bought this in a kit and it came with a lip liner also in the shade Honeysuckle, which um, if you are all interested in these matte liquid lipsticks, you 100% need to get the kit with the lip liner because this is really, really patchy. Um, I'm gonna swatch it here on my hand. I don't know if it's gonna show patchy on my hand or not. I don't know if you can tell, hopefully you can, but Honeysuckle is just so much more sheer than the other ones. Like it is just patchy to go on. And if you really wanna get any sort of coverage on your lips, you need to line your entire lips with the lip liner first, like fill in your lips before you go out with the liquid lipstick. Because if you don't, it's just gonna be a patchy mess and it is really hard to build it up. Like when I kept trying to build it up without the lip liner, what would happen is I would just take off the lipstick that I had already put on. So it would just look more and more patchy and it was just bad, just not good at all. However, even with the lip liner, I still think it's patchy. The lip liner's formula is not the best either. So this is a moussey formula. It reminds me more of the um, au natural rather than more liquidy like the Pacifica or the 100% um, pure lip caramel. It does dry down and is transfer proof once it dries down so there is also that going for it. However, I find that it does settle into my fine lines um, and also it does eventually flake off. The price point on this is good but I would recommend paying a little bit more and going with one of these other ones that I'm about to talk about. Overall just patchy and also if it is patchy in such a light pink shade can you imagine what the darker shades look like? Because normally darker shades are even patchier. I think this one is actually sold out, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway, because I have very strong feelings about it. And this is the Terry Mia Hira Bulletproof uh, Liquid Lipstick, and I have the shade Invincible, which is a, another kind of nudie pink. It is really, really similar to um, Au Natural On Point. So there's On Point up here, here's Invincible. I'd say, um, Invincible is almost like if you mixed on point and the Pacifica plush just liquid lipstick, I think you would end up with a shade very close to Terry Mia here as Invincible. Um, this is a very liquidy formula when it goes on, but it dries down like that. Like it's actually a little hard to apply because it starts drying down so fast. So if you want something totally matte, this guy's got you covered. However, it gave me the worst raisin lips I've ever had. I don't think I really have that many lines on my lips. I never really thought about it before, never really noticed it before, but my lips looked horrible, 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 horrible while I was wearing this liquid lipstick. Like it was just a disaster. I thought, okay, maybe my lips were really dry when I applied it that day. So the next time I wore it, I tried, I put on a lip balm, I got ready, I did all my makeup. The last thing I did was I kind of wiped off my lip balm and then went in with this. So my lips were very hydrated when I put this on. And same thing, instant settling into my lines. Like it just migrated right into my lines and sat in my lines. And my lips looked horrible. The first day I wore it, I was so embarrassed. I felt really uncomfortable. I was in a meeting. I was like, my lips look like a raisin. This is terrible. The second time when it did that and settled right in after I put the lip balm on, I just removed this lipstick and went in with another lipstick altogether. Like I was not going to struggle with this lipstick. It is completely transfer proof though once it does dry down. So there is that. Um, it's long wearing, It's com it feels very comfortable on, other than the fact you look like a raisin. I would definitely pass on the Terry Mayhera Bulletproof Liquid Lipstick because I have something that's a lot better. And these are my favorite, 100% favorite liquid lipstick formula in Green and Eco Beauty is the Clove and Hallow Lip Velvets. I'm wearing this shade here in Fiesta. You guys see me wear Uptown all the time as well. These formulas just blow everything out of the water. The Terry Mia here is the closest to it, but these do not settle into my lines. Here is the Cloven Hello swatched on my hand. It's a very liquidy formula when it goes um, on, but then it dries down really fast like the Terry Mia here, but it doesn't just walk into your fine lines and sit in your fine lines. It kind of, it just covers everything and dries down matte. It's a very powdery matte finish. And if I do a kiss test, there is zero transfer. So the Cloven Hallow formula is really amazing. They're really easy to apply. They don't feather, they don't bleed. I'm wearing this without a lip liner. The only reason I sometimes like to use lip liners with these is just because I have a really unsteady hand and I can get kind of shaky and a lip liner helps with that. But if you have a steady hand, there is no need to wear a lip liner with these. And they're, they are not patchy at all. 
like this red, I mean, you can see how pigmented it is on my hand. Like there's just no patchiness on it. It feels very powdery on your lips. It's super comfortable. Like it is dry, transfer proof, but my lips don't feel dry. Like they just feel normal. Like they just feel like my lips. I should let you guys know if you are interested in Clove and Hallow, they will be having a 30% off sale from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. No code needed. You can just go try these out. They also have these uh, their lip velvets in trios, like a holiday set trio where you can get three of their lip velvets at a reduced price. And that's another really great way to try these out. I've thought about picking one up my, myself, but actually one set has Fiesta and the other set has Uptown. So then I would already have one of the colors of each of the sets, but I might still do it anyway and give away Uptown or Fiesta as a gift. Out of all the matte liquid lipstick formulas, the lip velvets from Clove and Howl blow everyone else out of the water. So that's kind of my roundup of all the liquid lipstick formulas that I have tried out. If you have any further questions, um, leave me those in the comment section down below and I will do my best to answer them. I really love your comments. You guys ask amazing questions. So thank you so much for doing that and be sure to keep that up. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also check out my Instagram. I'll have my handle down below. I'm at naturally beautiful girl. I'm thinking about doing a similar video with cream bullet lips. So if you would like to see that, let me know that down in the comment section down below as well. So I will see you next time. Bye.